Number 43, determine the number of moles and the mass requested for each reaction in exercise 4.42. And now this is the letter C of that problem set. So in this case, we want to find out the number of moles and the mass of sodium nitrate, which is NaNO3, and that's required to produce 128 grams of oxygen. And they give us a little tidbit here. They, they told us that sodium nitrite, which is NaNO2, is the other product. Okay, so a lot of things here, but no worries, we'll break it down. The first thing is, is that if you notice that they gave you information of a certain molecule or a compound, right? They told us that we had 120 grams of oxygen and they're talking about asking for a other uh, compound. In this case, we want to know the moles and the mass of sodium nitrate, which is NaNO3. And they're explaining a type of reaction, right? We're producing something and they're telling us that, you know, NaNO2 is another product. The first thing we have to do is find out the balanced equation. And we've done tons of problems like that already. So if you guys want a review on balancing or how to make a balanced equation, uh, go check those out on this playlist. All right. I got you guys covered. No worries. So let's just see if your answer is going to match mine. This will be good practice. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, we want to find out the number of moles and the mass of this guy required to produce oxygen. And then they tell us that we have another product here. So if this compound is producing oxygen, that means that my sodium nitrate, the NaNO3, is a reactant. And I am producing oxygen. And remember, guys, oxygen is not just O. It's a diatomic if it exists by itself. So it has to be O2. And then they say that the other product is NaNO2. Okay, now remember, just writing out the formula is not good enough. We have to just make sure that it's balanced. So let's see here. I notice that the oxygens are not balanced. I have two and two oxygens here, so that's a total of four. So maybe I will bring this up, right, just to kind of mess with things here and just to see if I can get a good number here. That means that I have two sodiums and I have two nitrogens. So if I put a two here... Let's see. Ah, this works because I have two times two oxygens is four plus two is six. And then I have six oxygens. So cool beans. Guys, did you get that one? Hopefully you did. Okay, so that's cool. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is since we have the balanced equation, I like to write down what we're starting with here. So they gave me information about the oxygen. So I'm going to find the oxygen in my balanced equation, and I'm just going to write underneath it that I have 128 grams of this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'd like to get everything organized, so I'm going to write down what the question's asking for. They want us to find the number of moles in the mass of NaNO3. So now I'm over here. They want us to find the moles, okay, and they want us to find the mass. And remember, the mass is in grams. So here I need two answers. Totally okay. But now here's the key thing, guys. If you're given information about one compound or element, in this case it's a molecule, right, O2, and they're asking for information for another compound, you have to go through stoichiometry, a.k.a. just doing ratios and conversion factors. Now, don't worry, I got you guys. Majority of it, we already learned. There's only like one little bit of a difference here. Now, stoichiometry basically has a, a system, right? And let me show it to you guys. It's right here. So, usually you're going to start with a gram of one compound or element and work your way to the moles of the same element because from there... Moles of one thing to moles of another, that's how you convert. It has to be a multimole -mole ratio. But then from there, you can go from moles of one uh, compound to the grams of the same compound. So the A's go together and the B's go together. So it's grams to moles to moles to grams. Grams to moles to moles to grams. That's always stoichiometry. Now I'm just going to play with this a little bit. 
to just get our flow of things, right? So for example, where are we starting? Ah, we started with grams of O2. So in this case, I have 128 grams of not A now, I'm gonna just say that I have O2. And from here, I can find out the moles of, not A, but it's the same compound. Oh, it's O2. From there, I can convert into my new compound, the one that I'm looking for. The reds are what I have, the blues are what I'm looking for. So maybe I'm just gonna pull this out a little bit just so I have more room. But I'm not looking for moles of B, the compound is the one that I have all these question marks underneath. So it's moles of NaNO3. And then from there, I can get grams of not B, but grams of NaNO3. And there is my new and improved flow chart. Now, let's just get to it, guys. We gotta start from the beginning. And I'm just gonna say that I have 128 grams of O2. And now since we're just converting, all these arrows just means that we're converting from one unit to another. Converting is multiplying by that ratio, right? Where something's gonna be on the top and something's gonna be on the bottom. Always work with your units first and then do your numbers. So for example, I don't want grams of O2 anymore. Cancel them out, I throw them on the opposite side. So grams of O2 go on the bottom. And what goes on the top? Well, look and see what the next step is. Oh, I want moles of O2. So mole of O2 go on the top. But now the question is, what are these numbers, right? Well, we learned this conversion, right? We know how to go from grams of one thing to moles of the same thing. That's the periodic table conversion. PT, periodic table. Remember, when you're using the periodic table, you always have one mole of the compound. So wherever you see that unit mole, you put a one there. This number is the mass of the O2 on the periodic table. So we gotta get our periodic tables out. So in this case, I have two oxygens. Each oxygen is 16, so this would be 32. And I'll just put the two decimal places that I see in mine. Now I got the numbers, everything's all good for this conversion, I can cancel it out. And you see how now I'm just left with mole of O2? And now we're here. But that's not where we wanna be. We need to find out the moles of NaNO3 and grams of NaNO3. So I gotta keep converting. Don't worry about doing the math just yet. So I'm gonna multiply by another conversion, do the same kind of steps as we did before. I don't want mole of O2, so that goes on the bottom. And now what do I want? Well, look ahead. I want moles of NaNO3. So that goes on the top. Maybe I will just extend this a little bit. Okay, units down. Now, what are the numbers that go here? Well, when you're doing a mole to mole conversion, we don't look at the periodic table. We only look at the periodic table when it says grams. Mole to mole is the balanced equation, BE. What does that mean? Is that you're just going to be using the coefficients, right? The big numbers in front of the compounds. So for example, you only gotta look at these, these two numbers or these two compounds. So for NaNO3, here's NaNO3, I see that I have two of them. So big coefficient two goes up there. And now I gotta look for O2 on my balanced equation, it's right here, but I don't see any you know, coefficient, so there's a secret one here. I have one O2, so that's the number that goes there. And now everything's cool, I can cancel out this unit, and my mole of NaNO3 is one of the answers that I want, right? I want moles. So I'm gonna stop here and I'm just gonna calculate. Now. You can do this all in one shot. You can also multiply all the numerators, multiply all the denominators, and then do the division at the end. Let's just see what answer we get, right? I'm gonna do it all in one shot. So 128 divided by 32 times two. I disregard um, 
the ones, right? And I get basically eight. So I have eight moles of NaNO3. If I did say NaNO2, I apologize. I mean NaNO3. I don't know why I said that. But this is the answer. I have eight moles of sodium nitrate, NaNO3. So the first answer is done. Now I have moles of sodium nitrate, NaNO3, and I just want to go to grams, right? So let's do the next um, conversion. Eight moles of NaNO3. We're going to multiply by a ratio. Do the same type of process as we did earlier, right? We don't want moles, so that goes on the bottom. And we want grams. Okay, and that goes on the top, right? But then the question is, what are these numbers? Well, it's a mole and gram conversion. Just like the other one with grams and moles, I use the periodic table. The same thing I'm going to do with this. And what did we say before, guys? When we're using the periodic table, there's always one mole. So one mole of NaNO3. The mass numbers you're going to be using to solve for the gram part. So I have one sodium, 22.99, plus one nitrogen, 14.01. And I have three oxygen, so three times 16. Add them all up, I get 85. And now, this is all cool, I can cancel out the units, and I just solve. 8 times 85. I get 680. So 680 grams of NaNO3, and there's the second answer. Now, before I sign off, right, I just want to say one thing, is that if your teacher or professor cares about significant figures, these answers, the 8 and the 680, should have the same number of significant figures as the beginning value. Don't worry about any of these. That's just conversion factors. The sig figs at the end should equal the sig figs in the beginning. So technically, it's not just 8. You need to include zeros to get it to be 3 sig figs. So this would be like 8.00 moles of NaNO3 if we cared about significant figures. And now for 680, this zero doesn't count unless you include the decimal point, or you could say 6.80 times 10 to the second. And that will get you around that point. But this is just in case your professor or teacher cares about sig figs. Yeah? I don't. So if I was your teacher or professor, and you gave me the ans these answers, I would say, good job. <laughs> all right? So uh, let me know what you thought in the comments, all right? If you can, please subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. Just gets the word out there that this cool service exists. And I thank you so much for that. I hope you guys are doing well. And let's keep studying hard, okay? You guys got this. See you later. Bye-bye.